What's going on my friends? I am Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U. Today we are gonna talk about the difference between MLO and MBR panels. So MLO and MBR are terms that we hear all the time when we talk about electrical panels and an MLO stands for main lug only whereas MBR stands for main breaker. So there's a, a, a difference between these. Sometimes there are installations where we don't need to have a breaker that de-energizes the entire panel. And sometimes we do, it just depends on the environment and kind of where we are, if it's a feeder branch circuit, there's a lot of different reasons why we might have one or the other. So let's talk about the MLO panel, the main lug only. So where would we use something like this? Um, really, these are what we call sub panels because usually there's some kind of panel somewhere else that probably has a breaker in it that feeds this panel. Now there are certain circumstances where code would dictate that we do need to put another one in there, but not in every situation. So with an MLO panel, you're looking at the actual guts, the panel board of uh, the panel, and there's just gonna be lugs on the top. So your conductors, your feeders that would be coming in are hooking right into those lugs. There is no overcurrent device. There's no breaker of any kind to de-energize the entire panel. All of that is being done somewhere else out of another panel somewhere or out of another disconnect somewhere. But all in all, a main lug panel is just that. It is only the lugs. There's no main overcurrent protection for it. Now let's talk about the MBR or the main breaker panel. So a main breaker panel is just has a huge breaker. It's basically an MLO panel with a breaker in it. They do make breaker kits. So you can turn an MLO panel into an MBR panel. And a lot of times uh, many different size breaker kits will fit in the same space. So if you are in a, a situation where um, you have a 200 amp panel, you could in theory put a 125 amp main breaker kit if you wanted to do that, um, if you had one available. So anything that you put in has to be listed for its use, obviously, but there is a little bit of flexibility. Some brands allow you um, the space, the actual physical space to be able to put different kinds of main breaker kits in their MLO panels. So right now we have two different examples. Uh, this is a three phase load center, three phase panel board. Uh, this is a single phase panel board. As you can see, these are both set up to be MLO panels, but you can also make an, L an MLO panel into an MBR panel. So I'm gonna take this breaker kit and all I have to do is just take this screw out and this screw replaces it and I'm gonna end up be setting these in here. So I have to take these lugs out as well. So once those lugs are out of the way and this screw's out of the way, I can just put this in and it'll take place of that. So no longer are you gonna be hooking up to the lugs in the load center, you're gonna be hooking up to the lugs that are on the breaker itself. Now, I thought it'd be a good idea just to talk about some code around panel boards. Uh, a lot of the terminology in code is a little weird, right? So like we call an electrical panel a few different things based off what we're talking about. So a panel board is the actual guts um, you know, the, the guts that would go inside of the electrical panel enclosures. So code, uh, first thing I think we should look at is in the 400s under 408 panel boards. Part three is specifically for panel boards. So if you're looking through here, there's a whole bunch of other, uh, like part two is switch boards and switch gear, a little bit different, similar kind of things, but it's not what we're talking about. We are talking specifically about panel boards. Um, and in 408.36, under overcurrent protection, it says, in addition to the requirement of 408.30, a panel board shall be protected by an overcurrent protective device, having a rating not greater than that of the panel board. So if you have a 200 amp panel board, you can't put you know, like a 400 amp breaker in it or something like that. This overcurrent protective device shall be located within or at any point on the supply side of the panel board. Um, so the supply side of the panel board would be where the lugs come in. So you could either have the overcurrent protection there or somewhere upstream as long as it is on the supply side. The next thing I think is good to look at is uh, in 225, outside branch circuits and feeders. So in situations where we are running a feeder from one structure to another structure, there might be a time where you have to put a breaker 
at another structure versus ha making somebody like leave a building or structure and go walk to another building just to be able to turn a breaker off. So let's see what it says about that. Uh, part two is going to be buildings or other structures supplied by feeders or branch circuits. So buildings or other structures, a structure could be like a sign. You know, it's not just an actual building, but signs also, if you have a feeder or a branch circuit that is going to some kind of other building or structure, this is what the code specifies in there. Uh, specifically under 225.31, we're looking at disconnecting means. So it just says a means shall be provided for disconnecting all ungrounded conductors that supply or pass through the building or structure. So at a building or structure, if you have conductors that enter it, you need to have a disconnecting means. So in this case, what we could do is we could have a main breaker panel at the first building or we could have like a big disconnect over at that other building and then feed with feeders or with a branch circuit into this structure. But we have to put some kind of disconnecting means. So a lot of times what you'll do is in a, a commercial environment, you'll just put another panel, you know, an entirely new panel board and you could put an MLO panel there as long as you have some kind of means of disconnecting it or you could put an MBR panel there with the breaker already in it and that would serve as your disconnecting means. All right, so that's all I got for you. Pretty straightforward video, right? Just main lugs, main breakers. You're gonna hear those terms a lot. Um, so just understand what people are talking about. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and you like this video. If you like these videos, make sure that you hit the notification bell. It lets you know every time I have a new episode. Join the Discord server. There's a whole bunch of rad electricians, like thousands of people in there just BSing every day. Make sure that you follow the Electrician U subreddit because uh, coming the beginning of the year, I'm gonna start doing live videos again. And I think I'm gonna start combing through Reddit as my thing for, uh, you know, commentary. Like if you find any weird hacks, electrical work, any really bad stuff, really good stuff. I like to promote people doing really good work too. So um, if you see any of that, definitely go on Reddit. Or if you're more of like the Facebook type and you like hanging out on Facebook, we have another group there with, I don't know, like six, 7,000 electricians. So that's it. Enough blabbing at you. I love you crazy people. And I will see you in the next episode. Best music and video.